Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of AC Unity. Still hunting Nostradamus um, Enigma riddles or solutions to the riddles. Uh, in the previous episodes, there was the second riddle of the Jupiter um, Nostradamus Enigma, and I couldn't find it. And in between episodes, I um, well, I actually have to look it up over here. I really ran, ran around quite a lot and at one point I was pretty sure I was on the right track this is the clue rich and poor face the wheel of time travel south to cross the water of river Styx so I had multiple, uh, we started the riddle location is over here. So I was like, okay, we have to travel south. I know there is a Nostradamus Enigma solution over here, but that's north. That is a bridge. So you were like, okay, you had a couple of elements correct. Like the water of the river Styx, that's like the sand river, but it was not this one. Then I checked over here, there is a little watery stream here. I was also looking for a clock, the wheel of time. But yeah, this is also not really south to where we were. So at one point what I did is I actually went uh, south. So if you look at the map from, I think this is how the map by default, how it loads. So this is north and this is south. Uh, we were over here or yeah, that's also the problem. I'm not really sure what the actual north and south is. I did he hear from an earlier riddle, I think, that this bridge is going uh, north or south. So let's assume this is north and this is the south line. It said travel south to cross the river. I actually made a photo of the riddle on my mobile, so I don't have to open it up all the time. Travel south to cross the water of River Styx. So what I did is indeed looking, uh, went looking for uh, a river uh, in the southern area, and indeed there is a river here. You can hardly call it a river, but yeah, a small river and a bridge. And that is um, yeah where I am now at this bridge. You see indeed a death body, so that relates to Styx, that's the river of the death, crossing to the underworld. There's a wheel over here. So I went really looking um, over here quite thoroughly, but I couldn't find it. And then at one point I was like, okay, I I'm just hitting a wall here. So despite me really don't want to look it up on the internet, I did uh, sneak a peek. And um, because I really was convinced this is the only area where it could be but this really means that even if you're on the right track you still have to expand a bit because this is indeed the correct area but um, you have to go a bit over here and then I would say okay it has to be somewhere near that river so I really would not think to yeah, check all the way over there and stuff. But actually, uh, yeah, it is still in the river. There's a water wheel. And that refers to that first part of the riddle. Rich and poor face the wheel of time. So, yeah, I couldn't find it. Um, I'm an idiot. But here it is. So let's go and grab it. Alright, final one. Across the wall, I'm also making a picture, otherwise I have to keep on looking it up. Across the wall on the other side, souls cross the bridge. To Southlands Beyond. Yeah, it's so cryptic. And and the thing is, if you have like infinite time, 
which I yeah I can make it for it but at one point it is just I also I'm now playing this game for so long I want to get to other AC games still have to do the Dead Kings DLC and stuff I still like the game it's an amazing game but yeah it's really cryptic across the wall what wall there are so many um, possibilities all right there's a wall over there all right now let's assume that it's that wall i think souls cross the bridge to southlands beyond so we have a wall um yeah, Southlands Beyond. This is the border of Paris, I think. There was also a co-op mission here. Woman's March, which was really pretty hard. So probably Southlands Beyond, they mean yeah, all the uh, unknown territories to the south. Ah, here, and there's a bridge. So I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm hopeful that it will be uh, near this bridge. All right. That looks doable. Um, here we go. Alright, I want to avoid all these annoying dudes. Alright, I really hope I can make a bit of good progress in this episode. I really like this uh, attention to detail, these little mushrooms. Really nice. Oh. All right, here Come we go. Here. But what I also learned from this one, and that's also why I don't mind that much that I sneak the peek on the internet, because I have to get, I need to get the feel. I still have 13 to do. How these riddles work, and what you do notice is that. Even if the riddle location is here, the um, actual solution can be all the way over here. So, yeah, it's not like it's necessarily like only close into the vicinity like uh, other riddles were. Of the actual, um, the, the, the solutions are not necessarily close in the vicinity of the riddle. Uh, location and just like this one here we are going pretty far away from the riddle location but yeah this one i think should be pretty obvious at least i hope so i also thought that with the uh, other one yes there it is nice right quickly get to the next one um, which one do we need to do it's so annoying that you have to scroll through all these uh, these bars you, you cannot s skip sections with like the right thumbstick it would be so much quicker so flop to the co-op flop to the para stories and then you can go in between them it's not possible you have to always scroll through all the sequences very annoying if you want to get off here um, we are going to do areas. Areas. I do like them, although I'm pretty bummed out that I cheated one. But yeah, it is what it is. I also cheated one earlier. The very first one that I did uh, way back in the beginning of the playthrough. I just couldn't find it well it was super obvious it was super close by to where i was um, all right it's the one over here let's first get some money gas register is probably full if we don't um, empty it it will stop accumulating. Yes, full cash register. This will do nicely. Very nicely. 
All right, and now what is the closest? Yeah, there isn't really a close. Fast travel point, this one, but I've already ran this part so often. I'm just going to go to this one to change it up. It's a little bit further, I think. But yeah. Um, all right, we need to get over there. Check out the crowds over there. It's amazing. Crowds in this game is pretty damn amazing. And the architecture and everything is amazing in this game. You know what? Let's give him a nice dive. Woohoo! also Once August Palace become a shelter for the beautiful, the days of sufferance tick along up to but not beyond Louis. Wow. Yeah. A shelter for the beautiful. That could be a museum of art. So I think that might be the Louvre around the corner over there. But then the question is, if it's indeed the Louvre, the Louvre is pretty big. Here it is. The Louvre could be referred to in plural since there have in fact been several Louvre palaces since Philippe Auguste. Ah, it's once an Auguste palace, so that's uh, that the fits. Inaugurated it as a fortress. Each new regime sought to leave its own particular mark on the edifice, starting with Charles V the Wise. The Wise. I think that's the nickname I go for. Better than that guy called the Fat, or the other one who wanted to be known as the Severe two of the worst nicknames in history. Francis monarchs never ceased to embellish and improve the Leovar, which in Old Saxon means fortified camp, and which would become Louvre. And so this barbarian Gourbi or Sheikh became the largest palace in the world, expanded and improved by Francis I, who had several sobriquets, including Francis of the Large Nose, <laughs> as well as by Henry II and later Louis XIV. So indeed, Louis XIV is the last one. That's also in the riddle. Okay, of the large nose, we have a new worst nickname. Hi, they call me King of the Large Nose. Well, be still, my beating heart. Despite its impressive stature, the palace was snubbed by Francis' kings, 
who, starting with Louis XIII, preferred Versailles. The courtyard known as the Pavilion de Sully is overseen by a large clock. Louis XVI was the last monarch to use the palace as a household. Yes, so it's for sure the Louvre. But then the question is... The Louvre... is pretty big. Come on, Arno. Arno. God damn it, so annoying. But yeah. I hear it. Where? We're at least a bit close by. Nobody likes a Ah, there it is. Very nice. This one went pretty easy. By the spirit of Egalité. Alright, I'm making a picture. Uh, one moment. The citoyen is welcome in ro a royal garden where the mighty Helios ignites daily man's most destructive power. <laughs> All right. So we have a garden. Yeah, that are these gardens, right? For these gardens. By the spirit of Egalité. Isn't there a church here called Egalité as well? Plus Vendôme. No, it's uh, Louis the Fourteenth purchased the existing hotel for Norman as part and a part of the convent de Capuchin to embellish the city and facilitate traffic and provide a setting for a statue of himself dressed as a Roman Empire. Louis the Fourteenth also profited financially by selling the land behind the house fronts, which the king had financed. All the prominent financiers bought in. These buyers represented the cream of Parisian high society. They were followed by the more Modest tenants of the attic apartment such as Vigny. The statue of Louis XIV in Roman attire was inaugurated on August 13, 1699 for his birthday. It was hacked down in August 1792 to make cannon. Hacking down statues of kings to make artillery is actually a story, story tradition. The Americans did it to New York statue of George III during the American Revolution as well. All right, um, no. By the spirit of Egalité. Right. Um, yeah, I would maybe think this one, located at the very heart of Paris, between the Champs d'Elysée to the west and the Jardin de Tuileries to the east, the Place Louis the Fifteenth was built in honor of the king in 1772. Its purpose was to evoke royal omnipotence. That's quite an intimidating brief to get. We would like this building to evoke royal omnip omnipotence. Right, royal omnipotence. So, is that like royal incontinence? No, it is absolutely not like that. 
No, of course not, no. So do you mean like royal impotence? Is that it? Not exactly, to be honest. I think we're going to need some new builders. <laughs> it was the scene of the tragic festivities surrounding the marriage of the Dauphine, the future uh, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette, in which, according to official figures, 132 were trampled during a fireworks display. 23 years later, Louis XVI was executed in the same plaza now called the Place de la Révolution. Marie Antoinette followed a few months later. The guillotine was installed at the Place de la Révolution permanently from May 19, 1793 until June 13, 1794. In these 30 months, some 1,500 men and women would lose their heads. Crazy. Uh, they're totally crazy, these uh, French people. Um, anyway, I remember a co-op mission that was also in a little square where somebody fired a cannon or something each morning. And the second half of the riddle is where the mighty Helios ignites daily men's most destructive power Helios is the sun I guess yeah still going by location I would say it's just these gardens But what does by the spirit of Egalité mean? Ah, there's a royal palace over here. Ah, it could be that these are gardens. I think there's also a statue. This is actually, maybe, I'm not 100% sure, but where that co-op mission took place. Where that cannon was fired. And, yeah. Man's destructive power. I'm just gonna check it out. with stuff behind them so <coughs> detailed all right the only thing the, the the good thing of this one is that it is a royal palace so that matches with royal garden the only thing i am ah we didn't read this one yet I don't know about the Egalité uh, part, by the spirit of Egalité, but anyways, let's read this. The Palais Royal was the nerve center of the revolution under the auspices it's of its owner, Philippe, the Duke of Orléans, cousin of Louis XVI. Finding himself in debt, Philippe d'Orléans lined the three decades with 60 shops which he let out to restore his finances. The galleries were bustling up until two in the morning. It was a non-stop party and the meeting place for the capitals, many crooks, swindlers, old leechers and young debauched. Debauched. Hard to pronounce for me that word. An unusual timepiece was installed. A small cannon, this is what I mean, that fired exactly at noon, triggered by the sun itself. Yes, this is where we need to be. Where the mighty Helios, the sun, ignites daily man's most destructive power. Paris really hasn't changed a bit. Its regal name was impossible to maintain under the revolution and so it became the Palais Égalité. Another clue. Because by the spirit of Égalité. Right, very nice. This one we found pretty quickly. Here we go. Here we go. 
Right, that's where it was. Um, from the stones of a fortress breached, a concord built to span the divide. Alright, I know that uh, the stones of the Bastille were used to build other stuff, I think, when it was stormed. And so that's over here. Uh, the Bastille was one of the many construction projects undertaken by Charles V and was intended to, to protect the port Saint Antoine Gate and its adjoining Saint Paul Palace. As the centuries wore on, and the fortress became less useful as a fortification, it was used more and more often as a prison. Finally being completely dedicated to the purpose under the reign of Louis XIII. The prisoners held there, who rarely numbered more than 40 each year, were most commonly political prisoners. By 1789, uh, the Bastille was deemed useless and was costly to maintain, with 250 soldiers for a mere nine prisoners. I had an idea for how to bring the cost down. Fire 247 soldiers. Their system is like having a plane with one seat but hundreds of captains. Hang on, that sounds brilliant. This was at a time when Paris was packed with prisons of all shapes and sizes. Nonetheless, it was seen as a symbol of the oppression of the Ancien Regime. And when the French Revolution broke out, it was one of the first buildings to be looted and destroyed. The revolutionaries' quarry became quite literally dead. Uh, as the mob demolished the building and put its stones to better use. Some of the stones were used to consolidate the Pont de la Concorde. Nice, this is what we meant. Because I was also planning on looking up Concorde, which is yeah, actually in the... Um, um, in the riddle. Others were taken as individual or collective relics. Many were carved into tiny models of the entire fortress and sold as souvenirs. All right, so the riddle is by the spirit. Uh, oh shit, did I make a picture? No, I did not make a picture of this one, annoying. Um, here, from the stones of a fortress bridge, a concord built to span the divide. Yeah, so that's a bridge, the divide over water, from where the minds of men gather uh, to where their necks are severed. Yeah, th these are really fun riddles actually. So I'm pretty sure this is where the minds of men gather. This is the National Assembly. This is where the guillotine was. We, we read that, that uh, the guillotine was here permanently um, placed for like 13 months, killing 1500 people. Um, we know that the Concorde, that some stones of the Bastille were used for uh, the Concorde. And here you have Pont de la Concorde. So that is the, um, the bridge. And I know from earlier uh, that there's indeed a... Um, a Nostradamus enigma on that, br on that bridge. So this is the riddle that belongs to it. So that's very nice. But this was a... I must say a really nice riddle in the sense that almost every sentence had a clue and a pretty concrete okay, damn it I to look it up over here by the ah oh, we're already in the final riddle nice did i did do this one this quickly i once overspent it Yeah, this was the... Yeah, this goes pretty quickly. This was in the Louvre, the first one indeed. This was the, uh, the the little cannon that we are now, that is ignited daily by the sun. And over here, the, so this from the stones of the fortress breach. That is uh, a nice clue because uh, in the Bastille description, it, it specifically refers to, I think, uh, the Pont de la Concorde that its stones were used to rebuild it. Uh, and here it also says a Concorde built to span the divide. So span the divide is a bridge, and so it's the bridge, the Concorde. From where the minds of men gather, that's the National Assembly, to where their necks are severed. So it's a bridge 
uh, over the river uh, at the height, uh, at the location of uh, from the National Assembly to the Place de la Concorde or Place de la Revolution where the guillotine was uh, station, uh, stationed or located. So this is a really nice riddle, I must say. I'm just one thing curious. Did the Bastille actually specifically mention the bridge? Some of the stones were used to consolidate the Pont de la Concorde. Yes, it specifically mentions it. Here, if, these, if the riddles are like these, I can really solve them. Some are they, sometimes they... I think you're a traitor! We've no use for the likes of you! Sometimes they are just a little bit too uh, vague, so to say. But this is pretty damn clear. Right. Let's see how much time we have left. Nine minutes. Maybe the first riddle in the next enigma. Let's see what the next one is. Taurus. Right, not that one. Not this one. Here we go. Okay, damn it, there's not really a fast circle point close by. The only thing is I'm really scared that I, and that almost keeps me from enjoying them fully, that I will encounter one that will be a total uh, wall, so to say, that I really have no clue how to solve it. But up until now it goes pretty good, although of course I did sneak peek one. I really would like to not do that anymore because it really feels like cheating a little bit. Checking the solution online. Maybe the solution already. All right, here we go. Sending signals through air, made of wood and rope, shops, friends took notes. Yeah, so that are just these shop uh, towers over here. Here it is. Nice. All men must walk through gates that lead to the fields of war. All 
Right, that one is a bit cryptic. But yeah, I see a gate over there. So let's check that gate, I would say. Man, it would be amazing if I could make this whole Nostradamus enigma still in this episode. Yes, here it is. Alright, false idol celebrates on stage they entertain. Supreme is the being. He calls himself so. Or the supreme being. Yeah, personally, I think this statue might be something. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I am going to wager it. Yes. Nice. Woohoo. Oh, there's another one. Scoot. Ah, I thought it were always three. Sometimes it are four, apparently. Or. No, this is the third one. Scoot Mines guides the tides of battle over the shoulders of angels. They watch the fields of war. Yeah, so that is the Ecole Militaire. So that are the school of battle mines. Over the shoulders of angels. They watch the fields of war. So this is the field of war. So I would assume that on the building itself there are some ornaments which resemble angels. I'm not sure. Do hear something. At least I think I'm hearing something. Yes, I'm hearing something. Yes, <laughs> solved it. Where are those angels? Maybe that are angels. I have no idea. Yeah, uh, probably. That was totally unexpected that I could uh, complete another one within this episode. So let's see what's up for the next episode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still to do. Let's say I can do two or three if I'm lucky in an episode. That is still four episodes, approximately. God damn it. All right, and then after that, tomorrow it's Sunday, so I have some time. We also have to do quite some uh, murder mysteries. I do like those murder mysteries quite a bit. Yeah. Ah, and then still the, the final uh, sequence of the main game. And then reading up the um, 
the database entries and maybe the Elise letters in the headquarters. And then I'm pretty much done. Then I also could still... Um, Um, platinum the game but then there are two online achievements I have to do so throw 20 uh, money pouches in the game this is actually a mechanic that I hardly used for destruction purposes which is a bit stupid yeah. let's just throw all five pouches that I have have to wait for them to stop scraping uh, we still have one and then I will also immediately oh shit it's already uh, I will immediately restock. And then in the next episode, tomorrow, we will be continuing the uh, Nostradamus Enigmas. Guys, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. Pleasure.